Good day and welcome. Today we are very excited to release our add-on version of 3D Hairbrush 2.0. It follows almost all features of 3D Particle Brush. Besides, to speed up the workflow, we also add a handy pie menu. Without further ado, let's try it out. First of all, let me go over the installation process. Very easy to handle. Keep in mind, if you want to uninstall it, you need to toggle it off first. Then restart Blender, and then remove this add-on. OK, unfold it. We can see there are two Pine menu shortcuts, V and J. Select this model and enter Particle Edit mode. In this add-on, we split the 3D brushes from the default ones. The default brushes are in this brush drop-down menu by default. Let's press and hold this button. Here they are. OK, press N to display the panel on the right. When we turn off Enable 3D Brush, the 3D brushes will act in the same way as the default brushes. I won't talk much about these 3D brushes. No worries. If you don't know how to use them, Simply click the link in the description below. Next, let's talk about the new features in Pi Menu. Hit V. The UI looks awesome, right? There are three layers. Let's focus on the center button first. As shown, it can show some information of other buttons. Also, we can hold the left mouse button and move the mouse horizontally to resize the brush. Plus, Hold Shift to adjust the strength. The middle layer is basically the options on the right panel. Try it out. This button is used to show or hide hair color. This is to create color groups. And this collects all the options of the selected brush. OK, let's put them into practice. Select Noise Brush. Let's adjust it further. Then switch to Bend Brush. Then Puff. Just using this Pi menu, we can do everything. Very cool. All right, let's go to another pie menu. Press J to display it. On the left is the tab for the color group settings and the options of brushes on the right. This menu allows us to continuously adjust parameters. Yet the menu J will disappear after a single adjustment. Next, let's see how to customize the pie menu. We get into the Brush Pie Menu tab. Hit the arrow to move the selected brush up and down. Take a look. Cool. So we can set the order of brushes as per our preference. And we can also remove the brushes that we do need. And add one or more. Also, replace one with another. Clear is to remove all the brushes except the code brush. Reset is to return the default pie menu. And that's it. Very easy. Next, use radius curve. We've made some updates to support this feature. Let me show you how. First, Switch Render Engine to Cycles Hair, which is developed to visualize the thickness of hair. By the way, when the Cycles Hair is enabled, the Cycles Renderer still runs as usual. Here, the hair shape type appears. Now, when adjusting the root or tip, we can see the hair is changing accordingly. Enable Use Radius Curve. If you are familiar with 3D Particle Brush, you may notice a change in the user interface. That's true. This add-on allows users to save presets for later use. 
Okay, switch to material preview mode. This mode in the cycle's hair render engine is to display the thickness of hair. We tweak the curve as needed and save it as a preset. Let's call it preset 1. One more saved. Great, now we have the curve settings at hand, and it can be deleted if they are no longer needed. Alright, that's all. If you like this add-on, hit the like button below and let me know in the comments what you think of this add-on.